it's always the same the week that we come in and play the safe goal there has to be a breaking news about the Celtic team Celtic manager or a Celtic player and there's there's news coming out of Australia that Celtic fans may not like this afternoon on this Tuesday afternoon the breaking news also is that Celtic could be in line for a four 0.5 million bank payment from Arsenal for Kieran Tierney. It looks like he might be on his way out of Arsenal uh, this summer with a 30 million transfer fee being mooted and Newcastle United are reportedly at the front of the queue to approach the Scotland International when the window reopens in June. So that'd be a fantastic piece of business for Celtic. Celtic are reported to have a 15% sell-on clause uh, which was for a Scottish record deal, which was 25 million when they sold Kieran Tierney to the Gunners in 2019. This could see the Celtic FC uh, receive up to four and a half million pounds. Again, even more money to go into uh, the Celtic Bank, and we know how good the Celtic Bank is at the moment. Obviously, Fabrizio Romano has said that his future will not be decided before the end of the season. Uh, so that's one that we're going to keep an eye on. But in other breaking news this afternoon, it's been alleged, just when we thought it was clear that Ange Postacoglu was not going to Leeds, Ange Postacoglu to Leeds radar could happen this summer, according to unknown sources in Australia, as long as they remain in the Premier League. Obviously, there's a Spanish coach about to take over at Leeds at the moment until the end of the season. Uh, there's so sources on a radio show in Australia say that they have warned that Postacoglu is still wanted by Leeds, who is basically run by an Australian businessman, Peter Loy, on the board. And they're adamant that this is Ange Postacoglu's last season at Celtic Park. He's basically went on to say they've got a snout who is quite hooked on Australian football, uh, Australian soccer, and, and they've come to the steer. There's enough, there's enough occasions that this guy has seemingly been right, and he gives them a call this morning to say Ange Postecoglou is on his last year at Celtic. He will be leaving at the end of the year. It all depends on the survival in the Premier League. He maybe take one or two positions. The most likely position will be Leeds. And uh, the guy that brought in the Leeds brought in them in 2001. And one of the assistant coaches, Harry Kuehl, who's obviously a celebrated Leeds player, will be following them. And seemingly that's the link that they're looking at. They want to take Leeds and make them a Champions League outfit again. Would Can you see it happening? Would you see it happening? This is all came about the week that we're obviously, play, obviously playing the Sevco and it, it is all to disrupt the manager. You can see it happening on a weekly basis. There's more and more stories coming out to try and disrupt the manager the week before we play the Sevco. The other club that was seemingly mentioned was Nottingham Forest, but I don't really think that any of these clubs are going to be in the position to be able to entice the Celtic manager. So tell me in the comments, even though it's all getting put to bed today, today with the fact that he is not going to Leeds and they have taken on a manager to the end of the season, the story is not going to go away. And just when you thought it was Celtic fans, you tell me in the comments, do you think that Ange Postecoglou will leave this summer? Do you think he'll go on a high? I personally don't think so. I still think he will be here next year. He wants a crack at the Champions League. Champions League is not going to leave Celtic FC and go down to Leeds to try and get them up through the leagues. It's going to take four or f it's going to take two or three seasons for them to even try that. We are with a really good manager. There's no chance that they're going to end up finishing top three uh, next season. That is for sure. No disrespect to Leeds, but it's unfortunate that they will not be getting Ange Postecoglou in this summer. But the breaking news is that there's a few papers picked up on this story. In Scotland and they're running with this online at the current moment which is roughly around about half past three back in Scotland so tell me in the comments do you think Ange Postecoglou will leave this summer I really don't think so in other Celtic FC news Dylan Reid uh, you remember him he was going to come from St Mirren to Celtic and the, he basically had an, a, a chat with Ange Postecoglou and he, he basically didn't want to play in the lower leagues so that's it, it's the end of the story, but there's a lot of St. Mern have sort of made a, a big thing about this, the fact that he turned down Celtic, and the player himself has sort of come out and said, yes, he did turn down Celtic, because he did not want to play in the B team, he didn't think it would help his career that much. So it's all just the media trying to get as much bad press out there as possible, saying that players are turning down Celtic, and Postacog was going to be away, you know, everything out there is just bad press just now there's nothing positive according to the media the only thing that will be positive will be the huns hurt and fear this weekend
So on that note, if you haven't seen the video from this morning where we were talking about the Green Brigade and the Green Brigade Celtic moving section to the Celtic end, make sure that you check out that video here. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.